Let's see how the time flies. I am getting ready for another winter. Without thinking how many have passed. And there's a box on the ground back there that Skomp built to send his ship back from Iraq. And when we were all back, he said, you want that box? I said, I'll take it. And so there's that fucking box. And I used it to ship my stuff back to Gaylord after I got out of the army in Fort Bragg. Mm. It's time to put it in the attic. So I decided to go through it really quick. And I look and I find letters that I had. There's one from Joe Smith. And it was there. Uh, mailed to me at Fort Bragg, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Uh, to me, it was mailed. And then it was forwarded to Fort Benning, Georgia, where I was in jump school at the time. Date, 9-26-87. Date, 9.28. And then it was sent on to me. And look at there. <clears throat> I've got so many letters in, in this box of people that sent me shit. And I'm like, I have a hard time believing any of them care about me at all right now. This one says, Judas... How's it going, eh? I, uh, I'm doing pretty good. I don't have a whole hell of a lot to tell you, but I'll try to shoot the breeze with you for a while. Well, I finally moved out of Baraya Gaya's house. I don't know what that fucking name is. Uh, 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 that's where I used to live, if you didn't know that. You'll never guess where I moved into. Well, you're supposed to think about not just keep on reading. That's cheating, you dummy. Don't they teach you anything in the army? Uh, well, now, back to what I was saying, you probably still haven't thought about it yet. So here, this is a good letter by Joe Smith. So here, it's the fish fishback's place. Yep, ah, you guessed it. About time. Huh? Just about everything you want. It's pretty cool here. They let you do just about anything you want. The only thing I don't like about it is living with Nancy. She is so weird. Oh, Joe, you shouldn't have said that. Somebody's gonna talk about it. But I guess I can live with it. So have you shot anybody yet? When you were practicing? I could picture you doing that, couldn't you? Ha 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 pop up. The firing line is now open. Pop, 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 pop. Why would Joe say that? I don't know. Ah, oh yeah. Remember that last letter you wrote me? It was that one card. Well, one of your questions was to send you some toenails. Well, if you're wondering what the hell they were doing in your letter, you don't have to worry anymore. That's your present. I didn't want to want you to empty. I didn't want you to go empty handed out of the army. Ain't I a good friend? Well, we're not doing too well in football anymore. I don't know what our problem is, but it's Gotta be a real big one. I can tell you what the problem is. 
See, Joe Smith was a junior when I was a senior. Four years of high school football. Our, our football team was really something. We had a lot of spectacular athletes coming through our class, that class. And a lot of people that were still pretty good. Usually you get a couple of spectacular and a, a whole bunch of them aren't worth a shit. We had some spectacular athletes in our class, something in the water, you know. We were a good football team because we also had people that weren't so bad that were the pieces of shit. You know, scrub, scrub defense wasn't that bad on our team. So we had people to move in and move out. We didn't just have to keep people in the game the whole time getting worn out. From the time we became freshmen, we were a, a, a defining force in the region of football, in the Gaylord district and all that stuff. And it was when I was a junior, that was the year I didn't play. That was the year we won conference champions. And uh, then when I was a senior, because our juniors joined the senior team for the varsity team, juniors and seniors made up the varsity, that our whole team was there, that class, class of 97, Mark Johnston, Mike Dutcher, Brian Rowell, Andy Henyon, all these people, they were pretty spectacular. Everybody, everybody, Lee Danks even. He'd say, I'm not showing up, fucking practice. But they still let him play, and he beat the fuck out of people. And send in Mayday, Jim Mayday. Ah, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. He was never very good, but he was big enough to scream, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. He would try harder, so he was worthwhile. That's the way it goes. There was Tony Gatrell. Yeah, just tough little people that liked running shit over. I was just good at getting run over, but I held the ball. And um, you know, that's why the team wasn't any good. After we all went off to the military, Dutcher, the Johnstons, Henyon, Rao, me, we all went off to the military, left the school behind. Their team wasn't any good. He said it. He asked. So again, he says, I think I know what it is. We suck. Whoever talks about football, high school football anyway, outside of Ed O'Neill, Ted Bundy, Ed, what is that Bundy guy? Oh well, you can't win at all. So have you met any great women yet? I hope you have, cause you don't have much time left before you come home. Yeah. Boy, school is a lot different now. We are the seniors, I can't believe it. It feels like yesterday I was just a freshman. It sure does go by fast. It sort of scares you. I don't know why, but next June, I'll probably find out. Well, Judas, I gotta get going. 1.30 in the morning, so that means it took me two days to write this letter because I started it at 10 to 12 o'clock. I guess that tells you how long it takes me to write a letter. I'll be thinking about you, bud. I have been for a while. I can't wait until you come home. Well, gotta go. See you in about a month. You're a good friend.
Joe. See that? You see what that tells us? Is all you gotta do to remain young is to, to keep your memories close. Joe Smith, that's the kid that when we were on the bus to Akiak, Akiak Lake Group Camp, we are the campers, not the dampers. And our ears are made of leather, how they flop in windy weather. Gosh, you'll have them lock. Tough as a pine knot, because we're from Akiak Lake Group Camp. Ra, ra, ra. We were on the bus up there when I was a senior the second time. I got to be a camp counselor. And it was his first year, and we were sitting in a seat next to each other. And there was a 12 year old who everybody knew, one of the girls going to camp. Everybody knew she was pregnant. And she was just this big, pregnant 12 year old with red hair and just going, ah. And Joe and I are riding along on that bus. And he's always been an abusive guy with a good sense of humor. I, somehow I, I have friends like that. And he said, ah, ah, he elbowed me and I looked. And this, this girl, we're like, what the fuck is going on? There was a group of girls that were these 12 year old girls on the Akiak Lake group camp bus that were all just sitting in close and paying attention to this one girl that was the 12 year old that was pregnant with the big red hair. And she had one of those thumb suckers and everybody, as Joe got my attention, was like, what's going on over there? We looked, I didn't know. They were all so focused, and all of a sudden she starts going, ah, it's like, on the thumb sucker, it's like, oh my gosh. World's falling apart. World's falling apart. And the memories are all there. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna put them up in the attic.